Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing all super well in this festival season. This video will be a short one. I'm going to share with you some items that I have purchased in Hermes and Chanel in the past couple of weeks. Uh, for the first time in my life I actually scored a couple items in a sale in Chanel. So I would love to share them here with you. Also, I'm going to show you some styling of the items that I have purchased at the end of the video. So if you are interested, keep watching. We start with the smallest item from Hermes and it comes in this packaging. I mean, you already can guess what it is. And yes, I did uh, purchase a lipstick. I was very curious how they actually wear because I heard a lot of positive and a lot of advertising about this uh, lipstick. However, I heard from my best friend not that good uh, review of the lipstick. So I wanted to try on my own. It comes in this box and obviously the orange box. Here it is. I mean, the packaging is beautiful, right? And uh, it, it oops. and the lipstick comes even in a, its own uh, dust bag. As you know, Hermes has currently, at least in Sydney, three lipstick in limited edition. Two of them were starting one matte. Then they have a regular uh, collection of matte lipstick and satin. I'm not a big fan of satin lipsticks because they usually do not last as long as the mattes. A um, good point about this Hermes lipstick is that they are all refillable. So if you run out of the lipstick, you can buy the refill without uh, the case. I wanted to buy limited edition and the only limited edition was uh, in matte. It was in this color, which is Rose Nude. If I can around say it correctly, but I will show you them in here. The packaging is beautiful. Look, I love the fact that this is magnetic, the closure. And this is the color. And yeah, it is a little bit more rosy or pinky than I anticipated. But also it's got, I think, more texture. So I don't think it will last as long. But I will let you know in the next video how the lipstick wears. I have no idea, as I said, it's my first lipstick, I just was curious uh, how long it will last and if it's true what everyone is talking about these lipsticks, right? Because it was ridiculous when they first came out, uh, the lipsticks were sold out. The next item comes in this little bag and this little box. There you go. Again, I am not a big fan of SLGs, but still wanted to have at least one SLG from Hermes, Louis Vuitton and Chanel. But definitely not more because I don't see point of changing SLGs. Not definitely every day. So, I went with, and don't laugh at me, it's Calvi Verzo Calfholder, something like that. I will put the name here. And I got my one in a rose lipstick color. So obviously I had to go for pink, my favorite color. Uh, they did not have any others in a pink color. So this was the only sort of pink that they had. I don't mind it. I will see how it wears. The length is seven centimeters and the height is 10.5 centimeters. It does have a palladium plate closure. As you can see, I carry usually only a few credit cards with me, a couple, three credit cards, whatever cards, and uh, this is more than sufficient. This is in Misor Gold Skin Leather. I don't have experiences uh, in this leather, but we'll see how it wears and I can let you know if you're interested. I like the color. It is very understated. Uh, card holder, there's no logo, nothing, so unless you know how the Hermes card holders look, um, you would have no idea and that's what I like about it. The next item from Hermes comes in this box and no, don't worry, it's not a handbag. Um, this is the proof of purchase um, and I haven't anticipated of purchasing really, I can tell you now, if they are shoes from Hermes because um, 
I'm not a big fan of the Hermes Oran sandals. I had several of them, but um, they are not comfortable. Not for me. They do not hold foot properly. And um, as you know, and I told you several times that I had an ankle surgery. So uh, now I'm looking for shoes that are really comfortable and they hold my foot. So uh, the foot is more stable. I went, and I guess it was only for the color, for these white sneakers from Hermes with this orange stitching. Guys, as you know, I've got the Hermes Birken in orange color and I thought this would be really great when I run my errands, like for everyday shoe. Look like the inside is orange. I mean, they're gorgeous. I really love sneakers with higher platform and for me, my favorite sneakers are from Louis Vuitton still um, because they are the most comfortable sneakers I've ever worn. Uh, again, I always purchase sneakers with higher platform because they are more comfortable than just the lower platform, um, especially when you walk for several hours. Uh, these are full leather. The Hermes logo here is just so minimalistic, so it's great, you would not see it. Uh, and I think it would uh, be really great with the Birkin, uh, just for like everyday uh, shopping or whatever. So I'm really happy about them. They do come in another desk back there with the replaceable shoelaces. And that's it. I got this in my regular size 37 and a half, which is like unusual for sneakers or flat shoes. Only Zelton, especially sneakers, I usually get in 30A. Uh, first of all, they did not have a 38 size, but the 37 and a half really fit just right. Uh, so really happy that I got hands on them and yeah I can't wait to style them. The next couple items come from the Chanel sale. I have not anticipated on purchasing really anything as every year I just go and have a look and there is really nothing to choose from. This year wasn't so much different. They didn't have even anything special in ready to wear what I was interested in. Very minimal fashion jewelry in sale. So I grabbed these two pair of shoes. Uh, these ones are very simple sandals and I thought this gold color would be great with the Louis Vuitton twist uh, handbag in Python that I've got because it's a Python gold with a little bit pink and it is not too gold. It is because they are sandals so they are not so much leather and I love the fact that the heel is so low. The other, like, uh, Python uh, high heels that I've got in gold color to match the bag are really high. So, hmm, I thought this would be like for every day. And the logo is also minimalistic. Guys, they are very, very comfortable. And because they have a strap, they hold your foot. Walking in them is really comfortable. And this is actually the proof of purchase. The other pair of shoes, uh, very simple guys, you know I'm not a black person, but I thought like for every day running errands as well, these would be great. Actually the gold shoes I took in 38, again like Chanel sizing of shoes is really weird. All Chanel shoes are in different sizes. These, the flat ones, um, I thought that would be great for every day. The heel is very low, very very comfortable, again because it's a thicker heel so you can walk so for many hours and the feet will not hurt. Uh, leather with a pointy front is like material and then black so I think like for every day you can't do anything wrong with those. These guys I had to take uh, in size 39 as I said Chanel shoes sizing weird. I tried 38 actually and the foot was right at the edge so when I was walking the foot obviously moves a little bit and it looked really weird because the foot was a little bit sticking out. I do not like the look so I sized up uh, one size and look they are very comfortable, they do not slip off your foot. I think they fit perfectly. And now guys uh, you can check out uh, how I would style the items and of course uh, you can also subscribe to my Instagram and follow uh, any idea or inspiration of uh, daily outfits uh, that I post uh, really every day. So subscribe to my Instagram for those.
So guys, this was it from today's haul and the styling tips. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would really love to catch up with you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and uh, I really hope to see you in my next video. Have a lovely day guys and take care of yourself. Ciao!